Hi everybody, welcome back to the vlog. I know it's been a long time. When I post videos, it's usually, you know, I went on a trip with my friends or we were at camp or something. I'm just vlogging to like save the memories for us. I don't usually do this sort of video, but you know, I've been thinking a lot about it and we are switching up a little. Today I've got a Q and A for you all, a little get to know me, a little how's high school going? What are my college plans for next year? All that stuff, so stay tuned. For all of that. So I've grouped all of these questions that I got into like categories. So first category is just like get to know me. And the first question was how old am I? What grade am I in? So I'm 18 years old. I'm a senior in high school. I'm going to graduate this May. So that's super exciting. And yeah. The next question I got was what is my plan for this YouTube channel? Because I don't really post that much, but obviously I am today, so I've got an exciting announcement. From here on out, I'm going to be posting a video every single Monday um, before 1 p.m. So that's super exciting um, and definitely a break from what we're used to. Like obviously I have 200 subscribers right now. So going from never posting to once a week is like a crazy change, but I'm really excited about it. I think it'll be fun. I run social media for my school and multiple teams that I'm on, right? And I just really enjoy it. And so I'm looking for a way to like expand what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to college next year. And this will be a good way for me to stay in touch with my family and friends, have them like know what's going on in my life through all my vlogs, stuff like that. So I'm really excited about that. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're interested in seeing me once a week, like who wouldn't be interested in that? Like, come on, you wanna subscribe, just, just go do it, you know? And tune in every Monday, at 1 p.m. All right, the next group of questions is about high school. So first question is, do I like high school? And this may be unpopular opinion, I don't know. I love high school. High school is great. Of course, if you look for the bad things, of course you'll find so many because it's life. You know, you can find bad things if you want to. But if you look for the good things, there's also just so much you can say. I'm really blessed to have gone to an amazing high school with tons of people, tons of sports and activities to be involved in. And yeah, like I've had a great experience in high school, even despite the bad times. High school is great and I'm, I'm going to miss it next year. You know, a senior year, I feel like at this point, like I'm ready to move on, but also I'm just not because I've had such a good experience. It's like, why would I leave this? when I'm doing great right now, you know? I don't know. The next question I got is, what is some advice I would give freshman Emily? Like if I could go back to freshman year, I was about to join, about to start high school, what advice would I give myself? And I think I thought about this one a lot before filming this video because I was wondering like, what is actual good advice for myself? Good, that's good for you guys too. And I think that my real honest answer would be like people. And I know that's way harder than it sounds, but like, I'm serious. Like if you just choose to like people, then your life will just be so much better because freshman year, especially, I feel like I was all the time, I would meet someone new and they would say like one thing I didn't like, or like say one like passive aggressive comment. And I'd be like, wow, I don't like them. They're mean, or I don't like them. They said this or this. And really, I think that because of that, I spent so much time thinking about like, oh, I don't like this about them. So I wait, I miss the opportunity to become friends with a lot of amazing people. I know that's harder than it sounds. Like you, a lot of times you can't just like be like, oh, I love this person, but like you can, you know, forgive and forget. And if someone says something dumb once, like give them multiple chances before you like rule out being their friend, you know, choose to like people. That's my best advice. All right, this next group of questions is all about college. Super exciting. My first question was what schools did I apply to? So my family had me narrow it down. My parents had me narrow it down to four schools before I applied because you have to pay to apply to colleges, right? And it can get really expensive really fast if you're applying to like 10, 15 schools. Like I know some people who did that and like good for them, but I totally understand why my parents wanted me to narrow it down in advance. So I narrowed it down to two in-state and two out-of-state schools. So I applied to Indiana University, IU Bloomington. I live in Indiana, by the way. And then Purdue University. Those are my two in state and then out of state I applied to University of Utah and Brigham Young University and of those four schools I got accepted into all of them and I got scholarships at two of them which leads to the next question which is 
where am I going to college next year? Can you hear that wind? It's actually so windy outside. Like I'm seeing dust blow past from the construction. My school has some construction going on, but that's crazy. Sorry. Next question was, where am I going to college next year? And so from those four schools, IU, Purdue, University of Utah, BYU, I narrowed it down to Purdue and BYU. Those were my top two choices. Um, I got scholarships from Purdue, and so that lowered the cost to be the same, or maybe even like a couple hundred less per semester than BYU. So it was like a really tough choice, right? And I feel like a lot, I'm saying this all because I feel like a lot of people in my church, because BYU is a religious school, right? I feel like a lot of people in my church, they're like, oh, if you get into BYU, you're definitely gonna go there. It's the best school ever. And they don't realize how much of a big decision that is for people. Like, even if you get into BYU, you still have a choice to make, you know? It's not like it's BYU or nothing. You have other schools, you have other options, right? And so I thought about it for a few months there were, cause I got my acceptance from BYU way later than my acceptance from Purdue, like a few months later. So for a while I was set on Purdue and then I got into BYU. Um, my parents let me fly out there to visit my sister who goes there. And in the end I did decide next year I will be attending BYU in Utah. So exciting. Um, and I think that's a good choice. I think it'll be good. There were a lot of reasons for that. I can make a whole video on that, but that's, that's my final decision is BYU. My next question, I know that one of my friends submitted this one. My friend asked, am I sad to be moving to Utah in the fall for college? And the answer is absolutely yes. It is, like I said, it's a big decision deciding where to go to school, especially since for me, that would be moving across the country to a place I'm only going to know. I know three girls and two guys going there and I'm not, I'm not super close with any of them really. Like I know them, I've known them for a while, but I, we're not good friends, you know? So that's a really big decision and I'm really sad about it. I'm gonna miss all my friends. I definitely am like already feeling the FOMO as people are like making plans to like, oh, we're gonna room together at Purdue or at IU. And I'm just sitting here like, I have a random roommate. I met her on Instagram. She seems awesome, but I don't really know her that well. I've met her one time when I went to visit my sister in Utah, I did meet my roommate and she seems awesome. Like I'm really excited about that. But it doesn't take away the fact that I am, I'm sad about leaving all my friends and my family and moving across the country. I know right now already, I'm gonna cry so much when I leave. But, you know, I think long-term it's the best decision. I don't plan on living in Indiana forever. I've never planned on that. So, you know, it was bound to happen eventually. And it's gonna be a good experience. I'm excited. This question is what major or job am I considering right now? And so I applied to all schools as pre-communications, planning on going into journalism, um, but I'm not certain that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I think my like basic plan for now is I'm going to go to BYU, take some prerequisite courses for communications and for business. And then from there, based on those, decide what I'm gonna major in. But like the plan right now is to major in journalism and sports media and get a minor in business or legal studies because I always want the option of going to law school, but you don't really need to major in law to go to law school. So I think I'll probably get the minor in business. And then I'm really happy that BYU has the journalism sports media major like so like well integrated together because sometimes sports media is a separate thing at some schools. And I'm really happy that they're combined there because that gets you into broadcasting, sports like media, social media for sports teams, stuff like that. And that. Like that sounds like such an amazing career to me. Like I love hockey, working for the NHL, OHL, minor leagues, anything like that would be really cool to me. So that's definitely something I'm interested in. But I also have like a bunch of business ideas. I have like, I have a notebook that's just like pages of plans, you know? And so I'm definitely still considering that as a, as a major for business or doing something with like entrepreneurship. I'm not certain for sure yet, but those are the plans for now. I'll let you know if they change, I'll keep you updated. Um, but that, those are the plans for now. So one of my teammates going to the track. I wonder if it's time for me to go out there yet. I don't know if I said at the beginning, I have track practice right now. I'm sitting in my car waiting for track practice to start. Super fun. But the final question I got, saved the best for last. Um, it's three words. They just asked, ring by spring, question mark. And so for those of you who don't know what that is, that is the idea that like a freshman goes to college and 
they get a boyfriend like first semester and by second semester, spring of their freshman year, they are engaged. And so I guess what this person is asking is, do I think that this time next year I will be engaged? And I've gotten this question like seriously asked to me by some people because BYU is a religious college and like the ring by spring thing is definitely more common, more prevalent at religious schools. Um, but to answer the question, no, I do not think that I will be engaged anytime soon. I definitely, eventually, if I get engaged while I'm in college, I wouldn't even be surprised. That's pretty common at BYU, but I definitely don't think anytime super soon. Um, so I hope that I answer all of your questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun doing this. Leave any more questions you have for me in the comments and subscribe because I'll start posting more regularly every Monday starting right now. So see you guys next Monday. Bye.